Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the locus of points. In geometry, locus means a figure that is the set of all points and only those points that satisfy one or more conditions. The famous five are five different ways that you can show the locus of points from different things. And they are shown in both planes, which are two-dimensional figures, and in space, which is a three-dimensional figure. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and look at this famous five. So the first famous five is a given distance from a point. In a plane, the locus of points is going to be equidistant from the original point. If we go all the way around our given point, we can see that this makes a circle. So a given distance from a point in a plane is a circle. Now in space, we have to remember that this is three-dimensional. So we're still going to have a circle going all the way around. However, since we're three-dimensional, we're also going to have the locus of points going around horizontally. This is going to make a sphere. So it's good to remember that a given distance from a point in a plane is a circle. And the given distance from a point in space is a sphere. Now, our second famous five is equidistant from two points. So in a plane, which remember is two dimensional, if we have two points, what would be the locus of points that are equidistant from these two points? Well, that would be any point along this locus of points here. You can see that this is a perpendicular bisector in a plane. Now in space, of course, since it's three-dimensional, we're going to have a slightly different answer. If we're asked to find the locus of points equidistant from two points, that would be a perpendicular bisector plane, since, of course, we are in 3D. So remember that the locus of points equidistant from two points in a plane is a perpendicular bisector. However, this one is a line. And the locus of points equidistant from two points in space is also a perpendicular bisector. However, this one is a plane. The third of the famous five is equidistance from the sides of an angle. So of course, first we're gonna look at the two dimensional one and that would be in a plane. So if we have an angle here, and we're trying to find the locus of points equidistant from that angle, that is going to be an angle bisector. If we're trying to find the locus of points equidistant from the sides of an angle in space, we're going to have a similar scenario to the previous famous five that we did, and that is also going to be an angle bisector. However, this angle bisector is going to be a plane. So the fourth famous five is equidistant from two parallel lines. So if we're looking at the plane and we have two parallel lines, what would be the locus of points that is equidistant from these two lines? Well, that would be just a parallel line which is in the middle. Now, there are different ways of writing this. However, I think the simplest way is just parallel line in the middle. Now, if we're in space and we have two parallel lines, what would be the locus of points that are equidistant from these two lines? Well, that, of course, would be a parallel plane, which is in the middle. And our answer would be a parallel plane, which is in the middle. The fifth and final famous five is a given distance from a line. In a plane, if we have a line and we are asked to find the locus of points which are equidistant from that line, we are going to have 
two parallel lines. One of those is going to be above. However, we can also have another one below. So here we are going to have two parallel lines either side and same distance. If we're looking at space and we have one line, what would be the locus of points a given distance from this line? Well, if you keep in mind that we are in space, you would realize that the answer to this is actually a cylinder. Now, if you think about this as a circle and the line being the center of that circle, you can see that you would have an infinite number of radii which could go out. So over here, we can just write cylinder. So now that you've learned the famous five, you can go ahead and use these when you're solving different types of locus problems. Some of these problems may say, sketch and describe the locus of points in a plane which are equidistant from the sides of a rectangle. My other problems may ask, given the point P, what is the locus of points two centimeters from P? As you can see, it's very important to have a firm grasp on the locus of points and the famous five. Thanks so much for watching this video about the meaning of locus and the locus of points. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.